everyone, welcome to another episode of, we're going to start calling this Wellville Road because we're starting a business called Wellville Road, where we'll be traveling around the country, interviewing organic farmers and all kinds of uh, juice bars, and we're going to start it, it'd be like a, a place you can go, so if you're in New Jersey, hello. So if you're in like New Jersey and you want to know where the juice bars or the organic farms or the herb shops are, we're going to have a list of every state. We're going to start slow. We're going to start here in Rhode Island and we're going to start doing that. But today we're going to be talking about the digestive system. What happened to it and how you can help your body fix it. So... I was actually, oh, and for those that don't know, my name is Gary Parent, and I am so happy to be here and so happy to help so many people. I uh, am honored to be able to share the information that has been given to me uh, by many mentors around the world, Dr. Morse being in my word, in my opinion, number one, he's the one who really started me thinking. So if you don't know Dr. Morse, he has plenty of videos on YouTube that you can learn from, and uh, he has a book that is amazing. Actually, I have that book right here. I do a lot of tea videos, and this is the book right here, the Detox Miracle Source Book. It has all kinds of herbs, has tons and tons of stuff in it. So great book to get. And there'll be a lot in there about the digestive system. The major issue that we are experiencing with digestion and bloated bellies and isn't just sulfur, but it's inflammation. You'll see some people, and you, you bodybuilders right now, they have this synthetic steroid that they're using. And it causes their bellies to blow up and, and they actually look like they're pregnant. But they have a six pack or an eight pack, depending on who they are and, and how they work out. Well, that's inflammation of the digestive system. And the best way to explain it is think about some time in your past or maybe right now. You get a splinter in your finger. What happens? It gets all swollen and red, right? Well, that's your system sending up uh, red blood cells. Red. And uh, what they're doing is they're causing that inflammation because that's a foreign object in your body. That, that's the whole bottom line. It doesn't matter what blood cell it is. It's inflammation created by the body so that it can start pushing that splinter out. Well, a lot of our food that we're eating, the industrialized food, the, the pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all these different things that they're putting on the plants that are killing the soil, when we eat those, they're like splinters inside our digestive tract. And they're causing inflammation. So we get swollen belly. We get all kinds of issues uh, electrically because the autonomic nerve sits in the gut. That's the base of it. And runs right up through the solar plexus, right up into the back, uh, into the cerebellum. So you can have uh, dizziness, fainting spells, uh, loss of balance, indigestion, nausea, uh, heart palpitations, shortness of breath when you try to walk or climb stairs. These are all autonomic nerve issues, and it's sitting in an environment, which is a very important word, we'll go over that more, an environment that is not conducive to it functioning properly. So we need to help our digestive system calm down, to balance itself out, to be the pH it's supposed to be, which is around 3. And if you took the acid out of your stomach and put it on the hood of your car, it would burn a hole right through the paint. That's how strong it is. Well, we can be too acidic or we can be too alkaline because we live in a world of duality, correct? 
So what's happening right now is the food, synthetic food, is changing chemically faster than our body can adjust to it. And because it's doing that, it's getting weak. And the weaker it gets, the more issues you're going to have. So the digestive system really starts right here at the mouth. So as we're chewing, our body is chemically reading the product that we're, that we're chewing, or even the liquid that we're drinking. And it's always good to chew your liquids, even live liquids, because it puts pre-digestive fluids in your mouth. And when you swallow those, it goes down into your stomach, and your stomach starts to expand. And what does it do? It contacts the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. And your body is so smart that the pancreas will send in the enzymes that you need to digest that food. The liver will contact the gallbladder and it will send in the bile you need to handle the fats or anything that's in that. So as we're eating these heavy, dense, industrialized foods, they're not conducive to our body. Our body doesn't know what they are because it's not organic. And that's where the inflammation comes from because it's trying to get rid of it, but it's jamming up our system and we get bloated and we have all kinds of digestive issues. So on the top of the stomach, there's a little valve right there. And for people who have hiatal hernias, uh, that, that valve pops open because there's so much pressure in the stomach it pops open and the acid comes up into your mouth and not a pleasant experience I think almost everybody on the planet has experienced that unless they have an alkaline diet or a live diet so that is when we go get what we're trained to do is Tums well the problem is not your stomach is too acidic is too alkaline. So what's happening when you eat a Tums is it's killing all of the acid in the stomach and it has to regenerate itself and start over. When actually if you took something like real raw apple cider vinegar and you took a teaspoon of that, it'll take a couple minutes, but that will balance it out. And it will help that situation. So it's actually the opposite. The medical world is very good at doing the opposite of what we need. Hi everyone. So please uh, put down where you're from. If you have questions, anything like that, please write them in and, uh, and I will get to them later. So the digestive system is the only thing in the body that has an inlet and an outlet. It's just a tube that runs through your body, a very important tube. It's called the river of life. And like any river, if it gets jammed up anywhere and it starts to back up, there's going to be problems. So it's our job to keep that clean. And how do we do that? Live, life-giving foods and liquids that have fiber. Green smoothies have fiber. Salads have fiber. Uh, fruits have some fiber. So as we eat those, that fiber is feeding the bacteria in our gut. The good bacteria. And this is, and I didn't, uh, I was at a birthday party today. One of our friends turned 74 years young today. And she is rocking. She's a classical pianist. Uh, she's amazing. So, as I walked back, I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about tonight, but I didn't have time to set up very much stuff, so I apologize for that. But getting back to the digestive system, that bacteria is what gives us our life. It's what gives the cells their life. 
as it digests and goes through the system, there's little villi and they work like this and they go out and they pull the nutrients from the food that goes by, from the digested foods that we eat. Well, if it's all dead food, there is minerals there, yes, but there's not much in the form of electrolytes. So it's really hard for it to, to for the body to build energy. Dead food, dead body, right? Well, as that goes by, it starts to build heavier and heavier around the villi. And instead of them being like this, all of a sudden they're getting compromised. And the thicker that wall of that mucus and mucoid plaque or mucoid plaque gets, the harder it is for them to move, which is malabsorption. So if I read your eyes and there's a slight malabsorption issue or a malabsorption issue, that's what's happening. That one foot of the small intestine, which is really hard to get to, you can't do it with colonics, you can't do it with uh, enemas or anything like that. You have to do it with liquids. So what you're trying to do is get this from this back to this. And this is absorption. So we have digestion, we have absorption, where the villi can move freely to grab the nutrients. And that is one of the basic things that we have to have. If any one of these systems shuts down, digestion, absorption, utilization, is once it gets through here, it goes out into the, the body, out into the blood, this nutrients, and it goes through the lungs and picks up oxygen. Utilizing it is getting it into the cell. And that's what keeps our cells healthy. But if you mess up the digestive system, with eating too much dead food or inorganic food, food that is like splinters in your finger, only it's inside your body, you're going to be compromised. There's no way around it. And the only way to fix it is to start bringing live foods back into your body, but mostly at first live liquids. This is why fasting is so important. And because Probably everybody here knows I'm into the master cleanse because you have the lemon, which is one of the greatest cleansers in the world, and you have cayenne pepper, which increases the arteries so that more blood, nutrients, and oxygen can get to the cells, and there's just a tiny bit of salt in there, which helps put that nutrients into that cell. That is how you're going to regenerate your gut. What we're eating right now is slowing down or eliminating the strength of our gut. So the good bacteria is actually diminishing and it can't do its job. And the bad bacteria is growing. And that can be uh, parasites, yeast, mold, fungus. Okay? All these different things, as they grow in our system, our system gets weaker. And when they get weaker, we get weaker. And we start to have all these side effects that are, or they're direct effects, actually. And then we just went through those. Fainting, dizziness, loss of balance, uh, nausea, headaches. It could, uh, heart palpitation, shortness of breath, all these different things can happen because your digestive system is off. And this affects the adrenals too because when you're eating food that doesn't have enzymes and electrolytes in it, you're putting a lot of demand on the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. Drinking juices goes in, live juices, goes in with enzymes and electrolytes, which help digest all that stuff down there. It gives the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder a break, a rest, right? Rest and digest. 
which is what your autonomic nerve system wants, sympathetic, parasympathetic. And what does that control? Just about everything that has to do with movement in your body. It's the electrical movement, sympathetic, parasympathetic, sympathetic, parasympathetic. Okay? Has to do with, uh, obviously, your heartbeat, your breathing. It, it's, it's so important. It's incredible. If you're having these issues, that is the major thing that's going on. And start using, just introducing live liquids and herbs into your system. And the system, once it starts to get that built up, you'll get stronger. You'll get more flexible. You'll have more energy. Because the energy is not going to digest the food. And speaking of that, 60% of your available energy when you eat goes to digest your food. Think about that. 60% of your energy. If you've ever eaten and fallen asleep or gotten tired, that's because your body's not producing enough energy to digest your food and run your body to do physical things. Your body is so smart, it will put you to sleep. And this is where food comers, food comers come in because it can be so, so draining on your system. There's just not enough energy to do everything that you can go into a food coma. That is not a good thing. And that is the burden you've been placing on your digestive system and nobody's told you. So it's a good time to start with live liquids so that you're starting to clean that up. You're starting to rehydrate. And if you have a malabsorption issue, it's going to take longer because you have to break up all that plaque and all that stuff around the villi so that they can move again and start pulling that in so it can be absorbed into the system. But it's never impossible. You can do it. All it takes is a little bit of live liquids and herbs to help your body do that. And I'll put a list under this video of the herbs that you can use and the live liquids that you can use to help your digestive system regenerate and rebuild itself. It's, it's crazy how well it works and how inexpensive it is to do it. No doctors, no nothing. It's time that we become the doctors. It's time that we stand up inside ourselves and start taking charge of our own lives. We're worth it. We deserve it. And it's our, when I say our, I'm talking about, uh, well, all of us, really. It's our responsibility to teach the children the same thing. I mean, there's children being born with cancer. There was a doctor, the, it has a commercial on right now, and I don't have a TV, so I see him on the internet. He's doing heart transplants in babies. And he's one of the top ones in the country for doing that. I mean, come on. How, how compromised is the system when you're born and you have cancer? Or you're born and you have heart issues? or you, It doesn't... It's crazy. All we need is proper hydration and nutrition and movement. You get those three things down and the body will do all the rest. All on its own. Crazy. It's craziness. So as we chew and we get this pre-digested and we swallow, it goes down through into the stomach and gets processed. And then it starts running down through into the colon and it goes around. And the body is very good at eliminating that which it does not need. 
That's kind of a Bruce Lee quote. Use only what is useful to you and disregard the rest. That's exactly what the body does. But because we're putting so much burden on it all the time, we're eating all the time. And we're eating foods that are dehydrated. And anything that's dehydrated outside the body must be hydrated where? In the body. And if we're drinking liquids as we're eating, that's a sign that your food is dehydrated. And it's also a sign that it's going to dehydrate your body even more. I don't know if you, any of you have ever had a hangover, but you have this headache and every joint aches and, and your whole body just hurts. That's dehydration over 20 years or 30 years. You've done it in one night. And almost every solution to uh, helping your body regenerate itself after you've been out drinking is liquid. So, I mean, that shows you that you're dehydrated and you need to rehydrate. Well, don't just stop at, at one glass of something just till you get back to where you feel normal. That's, that's something that the doctors, I was talking to a guy tonight, and he gets a clean bill of health across the board from the doctors. And he's having migraine headaches. He's having uh, dizziness. He's in, in his, I said, well, it sounds to me like it could be the autonomic nerve in your digestive system. He says, I do have digestive issues, but the doctors have no answer for me. They said there's no known cure. You're going to be on this medication. So hopefully I helped him out. As I am helping out many of you, as you share this video, and it starts to go out into the world and people realize just simple proper hydration is going to fix so many of your ailments. So many of the issues you're experiencing every day from panic attacks to headaches to pain, chest pains and gas and all these different things. It's crazy how simple and inexpensive it is to regenerate it. Um, I apologize, I don't have any uh, thing to show you tonight. I was going to, but some people gave me some cornflakes, and I will have this demonstration later. Anything that's fortified with iron, and just a second. These are magnets, so as you can see, they stick together. If you flip it over, they push themselves apart, so it's a magnet. If you take anything that's fortified with iron in a store, like cornflakes, you'll see little black specks in it. And that's what I was looking for in this, this was frosted cornflakes. You put this, you put it in a bowl of water, and you put this on the side, it'll draw it right over to it. Crazy. So you talk about digestive issues. If you're, what's in those cornflakes is ground up iron. Like taking your bicycle and taking a grinder and catching the sparks coming off in it into a bag and then throwing it in your cereal. What do you think that's doing to your digestive system? What do you think it's doing to the enamel on your teeth? And now that we're at teeth, right? Every tooth in your mouth is hooked to an organ or a gland. So if you're having issues with a tooth, that tooth traces all the way down to that organ or gland that it's connected to. And I'll put a chart under here so you can see it. 
it's wild what we are subject to and how strong our bodies are. Our bodies are absolutely amazing to be able to put up with all the poisons that we have been given and still be here. And many of us are quite healthy. We're never right on top. Our body, one thing the body does is it adjusts to a certain level even though you used to feel bad it adjusted to that level and now you have to go to another level before you start to notice that you feel bad again and it will adjust to that level and it all seems normal even though you, you, you're experiencing less and less energy it takes such a long time that you think that it's normal and, and it's not it's not normal at all so This chart should help you understand if you have a tooth that you have an issue with, you're having an organ or a gland that you're having an issue with, because it's all one system. Crazy, huh? How many dentists ever told you that? Receding gums. Your mouth is too acidic. You don't need surgeries, and you don't need all. You need herbs and to balance the pH in your mouth which should be around 7 and once you do that that will your your gums will actually grow back plaque will start to disappear you really won't need your dentist anymore because all they do is drill patch and put steel rods in them not good any time that you put metal in an organic system it's going to cause an electrical issue in the body and I kind of come from a, a contractor street rod Harley building background and I was a sculptor carver for years and I did wrought iron brackets and all kinds of things and I was fortunate enough to do those all over the world. But when you take a piece of metal and put it in the earth, like say a, a gas tank at a gas station, they used to all be metal. The second that goes in the earth, the earth starts eating it. And it can take years, but that's why you see them changing all these tanks and all these gas stations all the time. Because it'll eat a hole right through it and the gas will start leaking out. And that's how all that's that's how all that came about. Well, if it'll do that to that tank in the ground, and the ground is organic, it's going to do the same thing in your mouth. Any metal they put in your mouth, which is another interesting thing, like your, your fillings, doesn't matter if it's silver, if it's white, doesn't matter. It's the only thing that the medical system will pay for and they're toxic to your body. If you want crystals or other type of fillers that are natural to your body, you have to pay for it out of pocket. What kind of a system is that? It won't tell you your mouth is too acidic, it won't tell you why gums are receding, it won't tell you teeth are connected to the organs and glands in your body, but they'll drill and paste stuff in there and if you're a dentist I, I apologize there are some great dentists out there who are catching up with with all of this now and it's important to understand it's not that everybody's against us many don't even know but you can't be you can't even be a massage therapist without starting every bone and every muscle in the body and how they're connected so is it that they don't know, or is it that they don't tell you? You can go to a third world country where they never even heard of a toothbrush. There's no medication in bottles growing on the trees. And they have perfect teeth. They have perfect jaw lines. How crazy is that? And we're flossing and brushing and fluoride and, and all these other things that we're basically being forced to do. 
And we have some of the worst teeth on the planet. That's odd. So it's time that we started to really educate ourselves and be responsible for is my battery's low. Hmm. I plugged in a battery charge thing here. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can get that to work. Well, I don't know if it's working or not. If it comes up again, then I'll have to cut this short. But your digestive system is the river of life in your body. Okay? What you put in here, and goes down through and gets digested and processed through here, and comes out the tailpipe, you can have issues any way through that whole process. And if you have a bloated stomach, but you don't really look like you're fat, inflammation. Even if you do have some extra weight on your stomach, it's inflammation. So the live liquids, the green smoothies, which are live, uh, the herbs will help reduce all that inflammation. Your body is full of yeast mold fungus, parasites, and they need to go. And what do they love? They love a low vibrational, low energy, very acidic environment. And they connect to your electrical system and they control your taste buds and they control your mind as far as cravings and things go. When they get hungry, they tell you that you're hungry. And you'll eat the food that's feeding them so they can grow bigger and bigger colonies and the stronger they get, the weaker the good bacteria gets. Now you don't want to get rid of them all, they do have a job, and their job is to clean up all the stuff that the good bacteria can't handle. So you're supposed to have like probably 80% good bacteria and 20% bad to clean up all the junk that the good bacteria can't get to. But when that reverses, and the more it reverses, the more issues you're going to have simple to fix, doesn't cost a ton of money, uh, and any live liquid, whether it's coconut water or kombucha or, or, or uh, the master cleanse or apple cider vinegar, whatever it is that you think that you want to use, try it. As long as it's live, it's good. could be just lemon water to help give that system a rest. And the reason I do uh, suggest the Master Cleanse is the maple syrup is your food. So if you're skipping meals, like I just finished a 30-day fast, no solid food. Master Cleanse, Primary Body CBD Oil, and uh, herbal teas that I mix for myself. And I do mix for other people, for anybody that's interested, I do do that. And it's based on your eyes specifically for you. I don't have standard mixes yet. I'm going to start mixing some, but I'd rather do custom mixes specifically for you and the issues you're experiencing at the moment that I read your eyes. Or you can even explain it to me. But eyes are much more accurate because... A lot of times, an effect in the body can seem someplace where it might not be. Well, you can't feel your lymph nodes, but you might have a lymph node issue. Um, so there are many things. The eye readings are much more accurate for me to work from and to do the teas with. So hopefully... What do we got here anyway? Okay. I just want to make sure my phone didn't shut off and I'm standing here talking <laughs> to myself. <laughs> so I think I'm going to wrap it up because I don't know what's going on with the phone right now. So I love you guys. Check us out on Wellville Road. Uh, we do have a Facebook page there. 
and remember your ABCs. We're going to have a shirt with this. Remember your ABCs. Always be cleansing. Always be cleansing. It is one of the most important things you can do. It's important to cleanse the external body. It's important to cleanse the internal body. And you do that with proper hydration. And you keep your body fit, flexible, strong, and younger every day the more you do it. So I see you guys in the next video. I love you. And I hope you have a fantastic detox experience.